Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for June 30th. Today's devotion is titled Parting Words, and the Bible reading is from 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 1, and uh, verses 19 to 24. Then Samuel addressed all Israel, I have done as you asked and given you a king. Verse 19. Pray to the Lord your God for us, or we will die. They all pray pray to the Lord your God for us, or we will die, they all said to Samuel. For now we have added to our sins by asking for a king. Don't be afraid, Samuel reassured them. You have certainly done wrong, but make sure now that you worship the Lord with all your heart and don't turn your back on him. Don't go back to worshiping worthless idols that cannot help or rescue you. They are totally useless. The Lord will not abandon his people because that would dishonor his great name. For it has pleased the Lord to make you his very own people. As for me, I will certainly not sin against the Lord by ending my prayers for you. And I will continue to teach you what is good and right. But be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Think of all the wonderful things he has done for you. As he neared the end of his life, John M. Perkins had a message for the people he would leave behind. Perkins, known for advocating racial reconciliation, said repentance is the only way back to God. Unless you repent, you will all perish. These words mirror the language of Jesus and many other people in the Bible. Christ said, unless you repent, you too will all perish. The Apostle Peter said, repent, then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. Much earlier in scripture, we read the words of yet another person who desired that his people would turn to God. In his farewell address to address, uh, his farewell address uh, to all Israel, the prophet, priest, and judge Samuel said, do not be afraid. You have done evil. Yet do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. This was his message of repentance, to turn from evil and follow God wholeheartedly. We all sin and miss the mark on his standard. So we need to repent, which means to turn away from sin and turn to Jesus, who forgives us and empowers us to follow him. Let's heed the words of two men, John Perkins and Samuel, who recognized how God can use the power of repentance to change us into people he can use for his honor. Why is it vital to turn from sin and ask Christ for forgiveness? What does it mean for you to follow God with all your heart. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy Friday, guys, and last day of June. <laughs> Bye, guys.